So uh, tell us a little bit about this film. It's about a, a trial in, in Denmark. Yes, it's the first time in the Danish history that we got uh, allowance to film a real court case in the ca in the court while it was happening. And um, in Denmark, there's been a lot of discussions about uh, punishment, and, and we have had a political movement wanting to to make harder punishment, harder, longer um, punishments. So um, the Danish Film Institute asked me if we could find a way to make a documentary film that was showing what was going on inside of, of these court cases. And um, I was researching a bit, um, checking out a lot of different court cases. And I was wondering what was actually the cinematic uh, stuff that I could use. I mean, there's been written a lot of stuff about um, all of these things that are going that's going on in the court case. But, but the, to watch a real case, I think it's, um, it's we haven't seen that uh, from from reality, we only know the, those places from American fiction. So I wanted, really wanted to try and see if I could bring that knowledge to, to real people because I found that room where, where all of this happened, it's very exciting, it's very cinematic and it's like a theater play happening. People have so much at stake when they go in there, they can be punished for a lot of years, go to prison for a lot of years. And it's like what they have, their character, what they bring with them into this room, the, it becomes very um, cinematic and very clear. Even small details that they tell about their life outside of this room, it tells a lot when it comes in there to this very formal, very um, clinic room. And you shot it in, in like real cinema scope, 235. Um, what was the choice of doing that? It's, it's quite unusual for, for a sort of tight documentary. And it's even more unusual because uh, this actually is shot straight for t TV. I mean, we made it primarily for uh, primetime television. So, um, I mean, it's a really stupid choice because nobody has that format on their television. But it's just we fell so much in love with this very tight um, way of cutting their faces because we wanted it to. We wanted you to look upon their reactions, these small kind of psychological games that goes on. And we shot it with four cameras so that we have two cameras um, making the cross so that we have, I have normally as a documentary filmmaker, I only have one camera and whenever I want to cut away from what they're saying, I need to steal from other parts of the scene to, to kind of uh, fill the gaps. Whereas here I had the real reactions and that made it possible for me to, to kind of in make this intense psychological drama that you can see further on in the film. I, I think it's the same here in Sweden, that uh, you read about these uh, crime cases in the, in the newspapers and often it's the sensational parts that comes out. This case was as well on, on the front pages. Uh, this guy that killed his friend was called the samurai monster and stuff like that. And basically, I think it's, it's something you know before going there that it's very much more difficult uh, and, and it's not that, that black and white when you get into the details of a case. But it was what I took with me from there and I think that's what this television piece did. That it's actually something that you can very easily say, this guy's a murder, this guy's a nut case. When you get into understanding what actually happened there that day and the circumstances you kind of place yourself in the role of the, the judge that has to, to, to give sentences out every day on a basis that is way more complicated than just what we can read in the paper. And this uh, film led to a discussion whether it should be more uh, possible for serious documentary filmmakers to tell story from the court cases because when you leave it to the, to the short, brief um, stuff that they can write in the paper and you, you have to follow it every day to kind of catch up to understand the complexity of the cases, you kind of tend to, to feel that you should just punish these people way more severe than when you actually understand the, the more complex story that we, when we have one hour to tell about this case, we can of course tell a lot of more details. What are you working on right now? I'm working on getting back from taking care of my little kid for a year, so um, hopefully I'm going to Africa soon to check out a new story there. Interesting. Thank you for taking our time to be with us. Thank you.